Hi, my name is William Simmons. I'm a father, college graduate, and also a veteran. This is my battle with grandma seizures. I started experiencing grandma seizures about three, four years ago. Um, my first initial action, I thought I was having panic attacks. But I was blacking out, couldn't remember things, couldn't focus, loss of, loss of concentration. You know, I was confused half the time. You know, then I went to a neurologist he broke it down that I had brain, brain damage because of my experience in the military. And I, I didn't understand. I didn't understand what was going on with me. I felt lost. That kind of pushed my family away from me because they didn't understand what was going on with me. Personally, that was the hardest time in my life because I didn't know. That's the hardest time for any person that have grandma seizures or seizures in general to have epilepsy. To, to go through this day after day, year after year, to go through this, this experience and not have anybody there for you. To end up in a coma two, three weeks, months. I wake up and nobody's there for you. So, to truly understand what it feels like to feel lost. I started going to college uh, because I, uh, my doctor, me and my doctor, felt they helped me with my memory and my seizures. Even though I was taking my medication, I still was having grandma seizures. I was having three to four seizures a week, but I still was going to college. I was struggling. I almost gave up. A lot of times I contemplated suicide. You know, I just, I didn't understand. It was just confusing, like, it was confusing the whole time, but I, I focused, you know. I, I was so compassionate about doing good in school that that, that kind of opened and shut up my seizures because I didn't, like, failure. To have nobody believe believe that I'm having seizures. That, that was the harder part about it. Nobody believed that I was, they thought I was faking it. That's, that was faking having seizures. That was faking with my uh, disability. How could you fake that? How can any people fake that? That's the biggest part about people getting support because people think they're faking. Just, just picture this. I was having three to four seizures a week to graduate with three degrees in three and a half years. Two associates, one bachelor's. All that through having seizures, waking up from comas, not remembering things, to end up in my master's. The reason I'm making this documentary to let people know, even though you have a disability, if you're homeless, you have a disability, you're struggling in a class, that you can do it. This is my battle with seizures. I, have a, I battle with it every day with my memory. Everything, I battle with it. But you could, you could do it too. That, that's the whole point of me doing this. Not for self-gratification, but just for that one person that might need an uplift, that might watch this and might get inspired just to go to finish high school. That's the reason I'm doing this. I'm doing this because because I have grandma see. And I feel like nobody understands but me. Nobody understands. Next time you see a person having grandma seizures, just ask them if they're okay. Ask them didn't need help. Call 911. Just don't walk past them like so many people walk past me. Like I said before, this is my battle. And everybody go through battles. Thank you for listening.